How's it going? So today I am doing the mommy tag and this is a collab with a bunch of other YouTubers. I will have the playlist linked down below so you can check everybody else out. But if you watched the TMI mommy tag, you know that I tried to do a collaboration with a bunch of other YouTubers and some people weren't comfortable with doing 50 questions. So I compromised and I'm just doing two videos. One is 50 questions and one is 20. Today is the 20 question one. However, some of these questions, a couple of them, I've already answered in the past. So when I get to that question, I'm just going to say skip. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and start with question number one. Okay, question number one. Are you a stay-at-home mom or a working mom? I'm a stay-at-home mom. Question two. Would you have it any other way? Um, I made a Facebook post about this like a month or two ago about how I'm constantly going back and forth between wanting to work and wanting to contribute financially to my family. Not because my husband is like pressuring me to or anything like that, but because it makes me feel good to contribute financially to our family. And being a stay at home mom and homeschooling my kids, which I'm thinking about doing because there's more flexibility with homeschool than there is with the public school system. Constantly going back and forth between the two, but I think I've settled on stay at home mom and possibly homeschooling my kids and seeing how that works out. So I'm gonna say, just to answer the question, no, not right now. <laughs> question three, do you co-sleep? I did co-sleep. We recently started co-sleeping with Carly again because she was sharing a room with McKinley, but she got the bright idea to climb into McKinley's crib and start like stomping all over her. So I was like, no, <laughs> no, no. So we just moved her into our bed. And then I found out I have a placenta abruption. And since the last time I went to the ER, I've decided that it's just safer for me to sleep on the couch rather than sleep with Carly and have her potentially kick my belly. So that's what I've been doing since like, Tuesday, but really I haven't co-slept with her since last week, so. And I really miss it, because I like co-sleeping, but not right now. Question four, skip. Question five, skip. And I will have links down below to the videos where I've answered these questions, so. Question six, date night. How many nights per month? Every Saturday. And we don't go out by ourselves. <laughs> we, we only go out by ourselves, just me and Devin, twice a year. And that's our anniversary, which is New Year's Eve and Valentine's Day. Those are the only two holidays of the whole year that Devin and I go out, just me and him. So instead, we just spend time in every Saturday night. And we spend it just the two of us. We'll watch a movie or we'll talk about something or we'll cuddle or I don't know. We'll find something to spend it just me and him. Question seven, your child's favorite show, Doc McStuffins. Carly loves that show. <laughs> McKinley's not old enough yet to have like a favorite show, but she really likes it too. She watches it too. Question eight, name one thing you bought before you had your baby and never ended up using. I don't think I've ever bought anything that I didn't end up using. So instead, I'm going to name something that I got for free. I got a seven baby carrier. It's like the sling. I've never used it. <laughs> I've tried to use it. I can't figure it out. It's just so much fabric. I just gave up. I've never used it. Question nine, your child's favorite food. Carly, anything sweet, like cookies, cupcakes, etc. but she's two. As far as healthy food instead of junk, uh, she really loves bananas. She could eat all kinds of bananas all day. She loves them. McKinley isn't at an age where she like has a favorite food. She just likes food in general, but she really likes bananas too. Question 10, how many cars does your family have? Right now one, but come income tax season, that's gonna change. Question 11, weight gain before pregnancy, during, after, and now? Well, I'm currently pregnant, so I'll just tell you my pre-pregnancy and my weight now. But if you watch my pregnancy vlogs and you're subscribed to my channel, then you already know this, but it's okay to recap. Pre-pregnancy, I was 145, and I'm now still 155. I weighed myself this morning, and I'm still 155. Question 12, dream holiday with your kids. This is going to sound so cliche. I'm so sorry, but it really is Disney. I think every child should experience Disney. It's such an experience. But I wouldn't get, like, a standard ticket and just get a hotel, like, outside of the park. If it's my dream holiday, I would get, like, a resort inside the parks. And I would get all the bells and whistles. And we would buy all kinds of stuff within the parks. Like, that would be my dream. Like, to actually go all out for a Disney trip. That would be awesome but we are planning on taking the girls to disney at some point not anytime soon probably but at some point we are taking our girls to disney because every child should experience disney at least once <laughs> question 13 dream holiday without your kids i would feel so bad going on a vacation without my kids i'm very serious i would feel so bad being away from my kids having fun on vacation and they're not there with me but i guess to answer the question it would be the caribbean i would really love 
love to go on a cruise in the Caribbean with my husband. That would be awesome. Or to go to Ireland because my husband loves Ireland and he has family there anyway so we could visit his family and it would be really nice. That would be a really nice trip too. So one of the two, I guess, if I had to go, but I would rather take my kids. Question 14, how has your life changed since your baby has been born? Oh gosh, how hasn't it changed? <laughs> They're everything I think about. They're my first thought in the morning, my last thought when I go to bed at night. They're a consideration into every decision that I make. Their needs and sometimes even their wants are put ahead of me. Like my whole life, my whole life has changed because of my kids and I would not take it back for a second. I just, I love them. I can't help it. Question 15, finish the sentence. It makes my heart melt to see Carly being really sweet to McKinley. Like last night before we went to bed, before we called it at night, I made some milk and cookies as like a snack and Carly shared her cookie with McKinley. I thought that was really sweet. Or when she tries to read to McKinley. I just like it whenever she um, is really sweet to her little sister. It just makes me smile so much. <laughs> makes my heart melt. Question 16, where do you shop for your kids? Like clothes, a little bit of everywhere. Um, I've shopped at a children's place before. I've been to Macy's before. I've been to Carter's before, but my favorite place to go is Once Upon a Child. I like getting more clothes for my money. I don't know, that's just me. Question 17, favorite makeup and skincare products? Oh gosh, do I have to answer this? <laughs> I suck at being a girl, guys. I really do. Uh, my version of makeup is some mascara and some eyeshadow. Like, that's my version of makeup. And if I'm getting, like, really fixed up, I'll do foundation and eyeliner. I'm just really bad at being a girl. <laughs> but skincare products, I don't know if I have a favorite, but I really like Burt's Bees. I like everything that Burt's Bees has made, so I guess I'm gonna go with that. Question 18, Huggies or Pampers? Neither, parent's choice. But in all honesty, I'd rather not do disposable at all. I'd rather do cloth. Not when we go out places. When we go out places, I'd rather do disposable because it's just easier. You just roll up the diaper and throw it away. That's just easier. But I love cloth diapers. I would rather do that. Question 19, have you always wanted kids? Yes, I've always wanted kids ever since I was like, in middle school maybe, I've always wanted kids and I've always wanted three. And if you've seen my other TMI mommy tag videos, you know that I've always wanted three, but I'm considering and thinking about having four, maybe, maybe. But right now I'd rather just get baby number three safely into this world, but I've always wanted kids. And the last question I've already answered, it says best part about being a mom. That's like the same thing as what's the most rewarding thing about being a mom, which I've already answered. So I'm gonna skip it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If I haven't been transparent enough on this topic of parenthood and motherhood, please by all means leave me a comment down below. I will answer it. Give this video a thumbs up for motherhood and parenthood. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that button because tomorrow I am doing another pregnancy vlog. And I know you don't wanna miss that, so hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow all of my social media, links will be down below in the description bar. And I will see you guys tomorrow, bye.